Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today, we got asked a question about this unit's been sitting up for a while and the guy goes to start it, turns on the choke, starts up as it should, goes to turn the choke off, and the unit dies. The only way it'll run is if he keeps the choke on at least a little bit. Well, there's a reason for that. There's a couple of different jets on the inside of a carburetor and I guarantee you that the one they call the idle jet is probably stopped up. So what we're going to do is open up this little carburetor that came off of a Badger 80, also known as a Raptor 80 by Yamaha, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one's been sitting up for a while, and I'll lay you odds it has stopped up as well. Because I can tell you, as I pull this off, the fuel that was in there smells awful. Now, that's a telltale sign that this particular unit wasn't set up correctly when they knew they weren't going to be using it for a while. Now what they should have done is added in some type of fuel stabilizer. Yamaha makes a great additive that you add directly into the fuel, you run it through the carburetor for a little while, and at that point you can turn off the fuel, run the carburetor completely dry, then you're going to be in good shape as long as you have fresh fuel in the tank to start it back up whenever you're ready. Well, that procedure didn't happen with this one. So let's open it up and take a peek. I can tell you it smells bloody awful. If you've never smelled old fuel before, you'll know it the first time that you actually do. It's not a pleasant aroma. Also another sign that things are gummed up in there. Whew. Let's see if we can find an edge. There we go. Oh yeah. So this one obviously has been setting up for quite some time. This is supposed to be a nice shiny brass color and uh, it's a little bit furry. Now what this carburetor really needs is a complete breakdown and then spend some time in carburetor dip and do a full clean. But the purpose of this video was to show you that pilot jet or that idle jet that I'm talking about. And if you look right here, that is your idle jet. And that has a very small orifice or pinhole that goes through the center of it. This is the one that allows fuel to be brought into the idle circuit. Now the larger one over here, that's for the main circuit. It operates on the same principle with your slide and your needle jet in the middle of it. As the needle moves down, lets more fuel in, mixes in with the air, and goes straight into the engine. But this little guy right here, that is the one that handles the engine idling circuit. I should be able to hold this up to a light and just barely see light through it. And guess what? I'm looking into a black hole because that one is completely stopped up as is most of this carburetor I am sure. So it will end up taking a bath in our carburetor cleaner before I can put it together. Hopefully yours does not look this bad and hopefully I can straighten this one out by just cleaning everything with a carburetor dip and if not then I'll need to order a rebuild kit. Now what does a rebuild kit typically have in it? Where you're going to have your main jet, your idle jet and then your float bowl valve if you will. It's basically a little bullet looking thing that goes into a seat. Now if you open up your carburetor and it looks for the most part to be clean but yet it's still only wanting to run on the choke. As I said the orifice on this idle jet is really small but chances are you can use some carb cleaner. Just go to the end of it. Don't let this go back into your eyes and just spray through it. In my case, there is so much tarnish and so much buildup, I've got no other choice but to go through and put it in a dip. And then if that doesn't work, then I may end up having to order new parts or a rebuild kit for it. Now speaking of parts, if you need any for your machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.